Up next, a young competitor chows down to try to get to the top. And students circle around to make a meaningful beat. All this and more coming up. Fresco ISD TV starts now. Welcome to this episode of Frisco ISD TV. I'm Josh Law. And I'm Eileen Fuller. Welcome to our show. In its elementary, my dear, Lauren Goodman cuts into the action. Here's more. For a fifth grader at Isbell Elementary, life is sweet in her quest to get a taste of victory. Are you ready? Ready, set. Meet Lily Leiden. She's competed in the school's annual pie eating contest since kindergarten and has placed second every year. A lot of my friends have told me that they really want me to win and that they think I'll win and I've never won and this is my last year being able to do it. And just like in years past, with her friends in the mix cheering her on, she blocks out the distractions and focuses on the win. It's kind of nerve wracking at first but then when I smash my face in the pie, I don't really notice that they're there. You know, when they come out to GMI, it's their little pep rallies on Fridays. They come out and talk about it. I think it just really excited her, a pie eating contest, and it was at a carnival. So I think she's just taken out of it. It's a fun memory for her for elementary school. And at the carnival, she's always been a part of the pie eating contest. This year, she's trained to beat her competition in her final chance to claim the crown. I just put whipped cream on the plate and smashed my face in it and ate it. The pie eating finalists battled for the championship title at Isbell's Fall Carnival. After years of competing, Lily stepped down, once again without the crown. No matter the outcome, Lily's best friends and loyal fan base still showed their support. I think she did great. <laughs> I think she did really good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty, really good, actually. Lily's just, um, she's always herself, and she always goes for limits, and like the pie eating contest, she always tries to beat the boys. Although Lily has come up short again, she sets a legacy for her future competitors to never give up. I'm Lauren Goodman for Frisco ISD TV. Great job, Lauren. I can never eat all that pie. It was awesome to see so much support for her. And now, another Lauren on our news team helps us get in rhythm in the middle of it all. Griffin Middle School has a program that gives students a chance to impact each other's lives through music. Partners Music is an opportunity for the general education kids to kind of spend time with our own special education kids in the music setting. Students seem eager to sign up. Mason had an opening in a schedule and took advantage of the opportunity. I was went to switch classes and a teacher asked me if I wanted to join Mixed Choir and I said I would love to and now I've just been in it and it's really fun. Through the beat of the music, students are able to grow closer to each other. Whenever we're doing instrument games, I help him get on the beat, I help him learn how to use the instruments, and I help him know what to do and just where to go. With games and rhythms, students are able to express themselves through music. They get an opportunity to play different games, learn different rhythms, try to figure out how to keep steady beats. We also sing a little songs, some songs as well. So it's just a great opportunity for the kids to work with each other, build relationships with each other, and also learn music at the same time. This program hopes to stay in tune with the beat of the music for years to come. I'm Lauren Harding for Frisco ISD TV. Thank you, Lauren. They were really getting in the groove of things. I love the tempo of the class. Students are finding more ways to come together. Miranda Alexander takes us inside Lone Star High School with the story.
They're separate but united. Students throughout the district are forming clubs based on their differences to bring everyone together. First you have to start with representation. So with LSU and BSU you start small. You start with an idea, then it morphs to a club, then it morphs to a movement of just acceptance and positivity. The diversity clubs are to really bring cultures together in this school because I think especially during this time it's really important for cultures to come together and different people to come together and really just learn about what each other's histories are, what their families, their ancestry, and what they do and or what they did. The Black Student Union and the Latino Student Union are active clubs at Lone Star High School. Students hope to promote inclusiveness. Frisco is getting more diverse each year, but it's still predominantly white. I didn't get to feel how it feels like to be around black people until this year. It's the same thing for the Latino Student Union, all the culture clubs. It's just about bringing people together. And I feel like whenever we bring people together to educate them about what's going on, to talk about it, we're starting to make a difference early. One group was inspired by the cultural experience of another. It all started with the Black Student Union. I went to the meeting and I decided this is amazing and I should create another one that was with my culture was, was um, Hispanic so I want to create the Latino Student Union which is for Hispanics and Latinos in the school. A friend brought me to the Black Student Union and I was surprised that I found out that I could learn so much and then when this started I wanted to learn more about Latino students and the culture so I joined it as well. The clubs hope to provide new knowledge, inspiration, and a place where students feel comfortable to speak freely. The goals of the club is to educate people and you know teach them about things that they may not have known. To inspire change, inspire hope, and inspire the pursuit of knowledge of what's going on in the world around us. Whenever you don't talk about things in a safe space where people can respect each other, that just means out there they're going to be messy and people are going to get hurt, you know? So I feel like this is kind of a place for people to talk about it safely, and that's my goal. The passion is clear, and participants feel their time is well spent. I love learning. I love learning about other people's cultures and just being informed citizen of this school and this community. The tagline for all of these groups is always, all are welcome. Uh, there's nothing wrong with educating yourself on others' backgrounds. It's so much fun because I feel like I'm doing something good. I feel like I'm putting out positive energy into the community and it comes back to me in the sense that I did something and they did too and the message will carry on. I'm Miranda Alexander for Frisco ISD TV. Thanks, Miranda. That's really cool. I've never heard of anything like that. Yeah, it is always great for students to show support for one another. Students in Cisco are on the hunt. Ashley Jackson sees how their wires were crossed in high-tech happenings. Cisco students at the Career and Technical Education Center got their wires crossed with leaders to secure their future. This event is part of our 10 City Cyber Security Converge Tour. It is our attempt to get out into the communities and connect with students on a one-on-one -on -one basis, allow our members that are typically the senior most or practitioners of cybersecurity, allow them to engage with students and help really solve a lot of our own problems, which is a 1.5 million job gap by the year 2020. Students learned about many careers related to cybersecurity. I got to meet some business professionals, so that was uh, really great seeing people in their field doing their uh, jobs, and we got a lot of information about like if we want to pursue a future in, in uh, cybersecurity. Computer engineering is very broad, so cybersecurity is just another thing that's part of computer engineering, and just getting more information about that is always you know useful. They also participated in a simulation, testing their abilities and competing against their peers. It was and capture the flag. It was basically that's what it was called. So they have a map of the whole world. When they would click on a country, it would come up and ask them a question. And if they got the question right, then they would then capture that country and accumulate points. There's no points on each country, and it had a question about just like cybersecurity. You get points based on like how hard the question was, and like we like, had the most points in the end. Then when they started accumulating points, capturing flags, and then the two boys from Wakeland were the one that did the best. Students seem to appreciate the resources provided by the Security Advisor Alliance. Personally, definitely want to go into computer science or cybersecurity. So I think this was really helpful for me in seeing like what my future 
looks like. We want them in the industry. We want them uh, to come and participate with us. And we're facing a $2 trillion economic loss per year by the year 2020 in this space. And frankly, the only way that we're going to solve that problem is by bringing new, fresh ideas, new kids into the space and you know, kind of getting new perspectives. So we're excited to be here, and, and the kids did a great, great job. Organizations like this give students access to industry professionals and help them discover a variety of careers. I'm Ashley Jackson for Frisco ISD TV. Thanks, Ashley. Coding seems like something that takes a lot of hard work. That's really impressive. I'm definitely not a computer person. Yeah, me neither. They are so talented. Eventually, everything is going to rotate around technology. The Rotary Club is always in the center of the community helping others. Here's Madison Breeding with more. Generations of generosity are in action as Frisco Rotary Clubs serve the community. Rotary Clubs are where a group of citizens, business leaders come together uh, for a common good and that is service above self. Uh, where we try to find a need within a city and then we try to figure out how we can meet those needs. Uh, sometimes it's through volunteer services, sometimes it's through financial resources but or bring attention or awareness to that particular need. Known as Rotarians, members are from various backgrounds and learn more about where they live to make a difference. I know that a lot of people join when you're new in town and new to a business. Um, they join for networking purposes because most of the Rotarians are your influential people in a town. It's usually um, the mayor, doctors, lawyers, teacher, you know, it's usually those people in the community that you want to get to know. So a lot of people want to join it for that reason, to meet more people in the community. And then kind of once you get in, it's like, hey, you know, we're doing really great things for the community. There are Rotary-sponsored student clubs at Liberty and Wakeland High Schools. And this year, a new club for all Frisco ISD students, known as Interact, has launched at the Career and Technical Education Center. The Rotarians love our kids. I know our Rotarian sponsor can go to our club and if we need something, they're willing to give it back. And what we're trying to do is pass on a tradition of service above self for those students. We're not talking about doing service hours just for you know, your scholarship applications. We're talking about giving service, giving back, giving, you know, teaching them what it really truly means to, to serve. And that's, I think, is the big value of the club. We're being noticed and people, like even Rotarians, they're looking at us and like, whoa, you're such a small club, but you're doing so much stuff. Like, that's amazing, these huge clubs and they're not doing half the stuff that you guys are doing. Students can see the impact the club has made on their lives and on the world around them. Well, I guess my main purpose was, uh, again, the satisfaction aspect of it. Like, you get many opportunities to just go out there, express yourself, do something that, you know, it just makes you feel satisfied because you're again doing something that's like for the welfare of the society so it feels good. I've made a difference in the community not just to say we joined a club to get hours for a cord, that we've actually made a difference in our community. For more information on Rotary Club or Interact Club, meet with a Rotarian or check out rotary.org. I'm Madison Breeding for Frisco ISD TV. I didn't even know what Rotary Club was. Thanks Madison. That's it for this episode of Frisco ISD TV. Join us next time where parents rock out in a school courtyard. And we check out Frisco High School's program that brings buddies together. I'm Eileen Fuller. And I'm Josh Wallen. Thanks for watching.